maybe lower, and I dropped it right near the far end because I had to hold up because people were coming out of the stands, oh, yes, yes. and I was scared to hit them. <laughs> so I finally let it go right about where that, right there. Yeah. <clears throat> you were the only Canadian. <laughs> You look at these. Yes, a, a, a kooky. Yeah, in the 500s. And the, yeah, 250. 250, yeah. No, you did the movie. Okay. okay. About uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, the jury. Is that all right? Yeah, okay, right. yeah. 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 It, it explains right. what this place is about. Okay. Yeah, and what what happened is in this four, five, yeah. four time year. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dit tandradpompje was ooit onderdeel van de motor in een Lancaster bommenwerper. Het was de nacht van 30 maart 1943 toen bommenrichter Alexander Eukenhaak terugkwam uit Duitsland. Hoe dat vliegtuig is beschoten is tot op de dag van vandaag onbekend gebleven. Maar de ED-596 was goed geraakt en vrijwel onbestuurbaar vloog de kist te pletter in een weiland vlak achter de boerderij van Klein Gebbink in Lievelde. Ze hoefden het niet te doen. Mm. Oh, het zei niet. Oh, sorry. Ja, ja. <coughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> ja. Mm. Harm, waar zijn we? Lievelde. Wow. Wow. For bombing command last year. Oh, yes. Okay. And they, we flew in our prime minister's private jet with my grandson. Oh, yeah? With your grandson? Yes. yes. Ah. <laughs> Quite an honor to be chosen. Yeah. God, then is it dus toch nog kleinkinderen in de lucht. Yeah. 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 Uh, sir, wh where you do living in the, in Canada in uh, Canada? In, uh, in in the, in the, in the west the coast. West coast, okay. British Columbia. British, oh yeah. Uh, but away in the interior, yeah. 
Yeah. Very hard winters. Yeah. The frozen. Uh, just the first snow when I left. Oh yeah. Sunday. Uh, I left Tuesday, and uh, it'll stay now. And then yeah. by the time I get home, we'll have that much. Oh yeah. 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 Burlap there, and I stuck my finger in like that, and I broke off some chocolate. Oh, I oh. thought chocolate. <laughs> I hadn't had chocolate for two years. Yeah, but it was unsweetened. Yeah, no sugar in it. I guess if it was sweetened, your stomachs couldn't stand it. So that bag had unsweetened chocolate in it yeah. and hard bricks of it. Yeah, but it went leuke verhalen, eh? Want wij hebben ook verhalen hier dat jeugd. Jongeren, en jou moet daarmee translate, uh, na een kris, ook van Amerikanen, na een 14 dagen, dan was de bewaking weg en dan ging de jeugd uit de buurt erop af. Dat kun je je niet voorstellen. En vaak vonden ze sinaasappels en achter de uh, bepanzering van de pilot en de bomberemer vonden ze chocolate. Ja, ja. Dat is echt zo. En hij heeft heel opgetekend. Uh, dat vindt hij ook wel, ja. 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 So I spreek, took a piece the... about that baby. Ja, ja, ja. ja. <laughs> Tom. Tom, the, uh, when, a, when a bomber crashed here and it wasn't too much destroyed, then, then uh, people would try to get there because the people learned that behind, in, in, the, in the cockpit, yeah. behind the pilot in the area, there were caches of chocolate, oranges, uh, cigarettes. cigarettes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used a, lot of, a lot of cigarettes. I, I got two cartons a month. And I didn't smoke, yeah. so I gave them to the English people, the ground crew that mm -hmm. put the bombs in and the, and fixed my guns. Yeah, yeah. And when they're cleaning my guns and the nose, I'd leave a carton, a package of cigarettes for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that is now where the leuke man. Jur wist niet wat sinaasappels waren, hè? En heeft me ooit een man verteld. Ja, wij wij wisten niet. Had ooit wel iets gehoord. Wij wij aten. Begonnen daar op te eten met schil en al, maar dat smaakte niet, zei hij. Nee, nee. <laughs> the, the people, people didn't know, young, young people killed the children, didn't know what oranges were. No. Oh, is that right? So they thought you had to eat them, peel it all. Peel it all. And, uh, and, and oh. they, they, they... That would be mostly the American planes had oranges. Yes, yes. Not, yeah, that klopt that verhaal, hè? Not Most the, of American planes. The RAF, no. No, no. Only Maybe six. some Canadians, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what the Canadians got. I was never with the Canadians. No. no you I were was RAF. Yeah. Yeah. 15 squadron. Yeah. Bigger? Smaller. Smaller, okay. Smaller. Oh, yeah. And it had a, a little glass thing and the, yeah. you put the target on there and yeah. then you flew oh, right oh, down okay. the line. Yeah. Yes. And when it crossed, you pushed the button. Yeah. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. This, this uh, uh, about you flew about, yeah, how many feet? 20,000 feet maybe or, uh, or higher? Every thousand feet it Turn uh, one and a half degrees colder. Oh, colder! So yes. twenty and thirty below. Yes, yes. And no heat. No. We never had any heat. Mm. <laughs> Pretty cold all the time. And you are overall or other? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cold. And heavy boots. And yes, heavy. Yeah. We were dressed warm. Yeah, yeah. But we were cold too. Yeah, yeah. It was you were never warm, but you weren't freezing. But they were pretty Enduring cold. Enduring for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. You go back. And cold. Very cold, yeah. All the time you left. Yeah. Not very nice weather. I got a piece of the top nose. I was back doing navigation with the navigator, mm -hmm. and a piece that big 
landed on my table and burnt a hole and I and it was so hot I burnt my finger and I I put it in my flying suit and I still got it and I got the date written on yeah. it. It's a piece of an 88 yeah. up, up there. Yeah. 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 So I've never seen an 88 before. Okay. I'm quite interested in They were a terrible shell. They can go right up to 25,000 feet. They sure fired lots of them. Oh yeah, yeah. And they'd explode where they set them, eh? Mm -hmm. souvenir, right? Eh? Yeah. Well, that's what it was. From the tip there. Right. <clears throat> it's all houses now. Yeah. So they came in with the bulldozers and they came to the spot where a whole bunch of these yeah. were still mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Right. So, yes. So they, they, they went, uh, well, what to do now? How come? So they went to the, muse uh, to the museum where I had uh, given them yeah. A whole bunch of uh, RCAF aerial photographs, and uh, on that yeah. you could clearly see where that p gun position had been. Yeah, yeah. what you jumped. To. So now they could they they send in some people and, and dug it all up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Is, yeah, but yeah, yeah. there was lots of it left. So in the I ground. guess that's just a piece that exploded up there. That whole end, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is all cartridge. Yeah, that's all powder. And that yeah. shell. Exploded, it was the shell. And then it, it, it exploded, they set the yeah. our height. Yeah. Yes. And then it exploded yeah. around us, eh? Yeah. Murders. Yeah. Murder. They had... They, Lots they, of pieces. Yeah. There was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the black smoke. smoke. And very hot. Yeah. But well, it was burnt my finger. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shady. That's huh. it. My, my father said zelden wat hij wat Tom nu vertelt. Uh, hij was aan het sloten schoonmaken vroeger met zo'n zeis. Ja. En toen hij met zijn knecht achter in het veld hoorde hij bam, God kling hier. En hij ging, de knecht ging kijken, was een scherp in de rasterpaal gejengeld en hij wilde hij uittrekken. The burn his fingers. Ja. 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 <laughs> en vlijm scherp, hè? Maar dat ding, ja. nou dat 3000 meters. Ja. No, we were never that long. No. No. Tom, Usually, Tom there was, we had, um, when, when uh, we had that uh, uh, set of anti-aircraft guns, yeah. they all disappeared in March of 45, yeah. and in, fe in February, yeah. because they went to the, to the Rhine to, to cover the, the, uh, the, the Rhine crossing of the Allies. Oh, yeah. But we had one field gun left, the, uh, of an 88, okay. and, and it fired uh, uh, these shells that were set for a certain uh, time, yeah. and they would fire them, uh, there was an attack by a uh, single engine air, uh, aircraft mm -hmm. on, on a German position, yeah. and this gun fired them and brought down a, a Spitfire, yeah. and you, you, you fired these things uh, the shell above the plane, yeah. and you, if you had it timed properly, it would explode above the plane. Yeah. And of course, the pilot was not well protected. Yeah. Yeah. That Spitfire was flown by a Dutch pilot. Was it? Uh -huh. Yes. Huh. And it was uh, the, the, the that uh, they attacked this position to prepare for the Canadians coming. Yeah. Right. So it was the first uh, soldier 
who died for the liberation of our area. Is that right? Uh, was a Dutch uh, Spitfire pilot. Oh, well, I think yeah. I'm the same. He's, he's buried in Alman. Yeah. The, have you, uh, there's a little monument for yeah, it. Yeah, in, in, in Alman. Alman. Yeah. 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 But he was shot above a yacht house. In, in, uh, the, the, the position of the Germans was at a yacht house. Yeah, yeah. Well, that all broke into little pieces. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Splinter. Down. And then. I could just see black smoke and puffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Zwarte yeah. roken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this, this, you could put in uh, uh, solid shells. I see. And for knock, and knock off. For knock tanks off. and that. Yeah. yeah, armor. Yeah. Or you, you could put in uh, aircraft and or anti-personnel, mm. which splinters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The infantry guys took these things off the landing craft yeah. and put them on the carriers. Mm -hmm. oh. And we had thousands of these spent shells oh. lying around the house after we were liberated. Yeah. We learned to take that apart and put it together blindfolded so we could do it mm -hmm. at night. They blind uh, in training yeah. Oh, yeah. in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. blindfold us and we had to be able to take it all apart and put it back together or when you can't and uh, rear gunner, okay yes rear gunner had four yeah. sometimes i had four in the front see mm -hmm. and sometimes i had two of these yeah yeah when when but that was later on i guess eh, in the war when you uh had these that's a lot of silk Centimeter, eh? 20 millimeter. This mm. one. Yeah. That's uh, that was uh, uh, what the Germans were firing uh, in the, in the night fighters. Yeah. This was over the whole mean uh, Americans, eh? Point uh, five. Uh, yeah. So oh. overall in the in the in the B zoom team and the Browning. 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 Yeah. Browning. Yeah. They're all Browning. Yeah. 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 Well, well, Not many Canadians had the opportunity to see this. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate, you see. Yeah. Huh. Dan kreeg je nu nog wat zwart geld, kreeg moeder. Want dat waren zakjes van 10 en 20 kilogram. Die haalden ze dan hier op thuis. En dan werd dan 5 gulden of 8 gulden naar gang de prijs was. Nou, en er werd wel van opgeschreven voor de, voor de visjes, maar ook wel dingen niet. Snap je? Ja. Ja. Oh, thank you, Tom. Merci. Ja, maar zo werkt het dat in die tijd. Dat je would use if you had to get out. Ja, ja, ja. 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 Kijk, maar dan, dan moest je niet zoveel ja, om aan je lijf hebben. Dat is de one that I went out of and the pilot and the co-pilot ja. and the navigator, navigator and the wireless operator. They all had to get out of that. They yeah. would go out that one. On this side. Yeah. Yeah. Maar die zaten nog redelijk, relatief dicht bij elkaar. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maar zat je achterin, dan was je overgeleverd aan jezelf. Dus de tailgunner. Het was hier. Het yeah. huh? was up in here. Het was right under there. Oh ja, 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 ja. And the yeah. nose. And yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. And, and those were the guns you operated? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. You, did you stand or? or uh, oh, they weren't up like that. And they were pointing this way. You, you Do you stand up? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was yeah. a 150 yeah. millimeter. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. 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 It was awful cold back there, too. <laughs> yes. And then their masks could freeze. Yeah. With the oxygen, yeah, Fro fro frozen ice then. all over him. Yes, and then they be couldn't get air. Oh, I remember one time he couldn't get air and he's hollering, but we had to stay up there. Yeah, but he he survived. Yeah, yeah. so but it was close. Well, he couldn't. He was crying. He couldn't breathe. Yeah, yeah. But we had to stay like that because we're just coming into the target at our height, and you had to be there within two minutes. Yeah, we had two minutes at a certain height. Yeah. 
at night like and you didn't know where anyone was so you had to be at that height within two minutes otherwise you might drop your bombs on another bomber or something or they would drop one on yeah, you yeah so you had two minutes to get to your target and if you're late you, you cut across and if you're long you went further on your legs. Like yeah yeah jonge jonge maar wat scherp qua time hè yeah, yeah. But, but, but what minutes, decisions yeah. you have to make? What say you? What, what decisions a pilot have to make? Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. here yeah. is his his uh, top gunner is 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 dying. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And he can't go anywhere, but has to fly on because yeah. the bombs have to be dropped. Yeah, that's yeah. It's awful decisions. Yeah. So we were within about three minutes of the target, and as soon as we dropped the bombs, then we come down where it wasn't so cold, yeah. and, and the ice yeah. come off. As I yeah. uh, yes. geleerd heb in de loop, hij, he was bomben aimer, nam ook voor enkele minutes de commander, uh, was hij van het toestel, oh. nam hij het commando over, hè, yeah. via target. Yeah. Over yeah. the target. The, the bomb yeah. aimer was the one who directed the plane. Yes. Yes, so, yeah. okay, yeah. 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 Well, yeah for, the, for a couple of minutes, maybe. Well, for about maybe, Ten miles or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. you put them in this thing, and the yeah, the target's coming down like that, and you said port starboard, Left, port yeah. starboard. Oh, yeah, start, yeah. So you had to carry the responsibility for your friend up there because well, you we had to play. Well, well, everyone knew that we didn't do nothing about it. Yeah. Okay. No. The yeah. Yeah. No one made yeah. that was made yeah. before. You had to stay at your height, regardless yes. of yeah. what's going on. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maar so het was, was niet alleen Tom. Iedereen ja. wist dat je de vliegtuig ja. zo moest laten vliegen. Ook al zat je. Zat ja. je maar je hij zei wel bij het, het doel aankomende: star, board, port, port. Ja, dat is Links of rechts? Dat is light. Uh, Starboard is left. Left. Ja. Maar hij zei. Ja. If there was, you tried to shake him out, eh? <laughs> well, you could, you could somehow see in the. Did you have to go somewhere to see the, the bomb? Uh, no, we did it right away. Because you can't close the bomb doors. Yeah. <laughs> because they're all live now in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like you put the bombs live as soon as you cross the English Channel. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Throw a switch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now your that bombs are live. Danger zone. Yeah. They will explode as soon as you're coming in. As soon as you cross the English Channel, you threw a switch and all your bombs are live now. En weet je wat hij ook zegt? Hij zegt dat je je achterom en als er niet uit waren, dan shake je, dan schud je er een beetje aan als je dan ging vallen. Ja, nou de bomberrek. Ja, ja, de de plane, de plane had to shudder to drop the last ones, maybe. Ja, 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 ja. Oh ja. Tom, you you would have to be sure to drop the cookie first. No, to drop the cookie last. Or they all went at once. You just press the bomb to it once. But there were times that uh, uh, one of the bombs oh, hit yeah, the cookie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess, uh, that yeah. was you Not for us, so. Tom, you, you, you tell us a, a very interesting story for me, you oh, too, yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Long time ago. 68 years ago. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 68, 69. You are 21, you were 23 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 19 yeah. when I joined up, though. When when did you fly for the first time? Your first flight? I think it was uh, 45, 44. Oh, maybe uh, November 44. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Somewhere around there. Well, yeah. I was younger. When, when war was declared, I was delivering papers, just a young boy. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. everyone said, they got airplanes now, and the war can only last two years. Yeah. And it lasted five and a half. Yeah. And that is in Christian names, in achternaam, the mark BZ, then we're going to be very happy with it. Oh, yeah.
Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, a gentleman told me the story that you had uh, the grass uh, it's Olymp Olympic Stadium. Oh, yeah. of the Olympic Stadium on your wheels. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a privilege to meet you, sir. No, it's a privilege to meet a living uh, uh, hero. Well, the, the Dutch people have shown so much appreciation for what the servicemen did. Especially the Canadians. Yes, you were the first yeah. in Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I've been to one grave and we're going to another one this afternoon. I have friends up there, they're school friends. Yes, yes. yes. You were 23 when you were Yes, 21 or 22 or 23. I joined the Air Force when I was 19. <laughs> and now you're going on safari. Yes, I'm going to Africa. Uh, Tanzania and Kenya. And, uh, Fantastic. I'm in the Serengeti and I'm 91 years old now. <laughs> yes, 19 when you joined the Air Force, now 91. Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fine example. Yes. yes. And I hope uh, whenever you're back in Amsterdam or there is anything I can do for you, it's my pleasure. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes. Sorry, I was uh, doing a very bad thing. Thank you. No, thank, thank you very you much. On behalf of all the Amsterdam. Very good. And I hope you enjoy Africa. First to the Sea Force and uh, Captain Young, thank you for the invitation today, the invitation to speak. I send you greetings from Ambassador James Lambert and the Defense Attaché Colonel Connextet today who are involved in the Hague in the uh, Commonwealth ceremonies there where the Canadian Embassy is sponsoring those ceremonies today. So they are, they are gamefully employed uh, ensuring that those go well today. Um, Canada, we only celebrate on the 1st of November, Remembrance, whereas here in the Netherlands, it's by village, by town, by event, uh, liberation. Recently, one of the military padres at a ceremony I attended spoke of the, the idea of whether it is truly a sacrifice that was made here. I mean, after all, the, in the English language, we talk of sacrifice as being sort of a, a token, an offering. Uh, given up for some purpose, or the um, the, the offering of uh, something in, for consideration of something else. Well, to be honest, none of these soldiers lying here sacrificed anything. Their lives were taken away from them, brutally, in war. But they do it with that same sense of determination of pride and commitment to ensuring peace, ensuring freedom from tyranny. And so <coughs> these Remembrance Days, I remember that aspect of their uh, contribution to these efforts, that determination, that commitment, and that pride. And that's what I honor on these days. And, I would, uh, and that's what I will remember on Remembrance Day. But since I've been in the Netherlands, I will also remember something else. I remember all of you folks out here and your pride, your determination, and your commitment to remember what was given and what the assistance that soldiers from all the Commonwealth nations, and in particular Canada. And I will remember that on Remembrance Day from er evermore, and I thank you for that. And so on this day, we remember them, and I remember you.
So do I got it. Yeah? Uh -huh. So they write. Yeah. 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 Is this your book? This is our book, yeah. But yours have had a, be a better polish? Yes, mine are shiny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I dropped the bombs in the no I bomb in the, in the I was in the nose and I had machine guns too and dropped oh, yeah. the bombs. You were gunner. And then that helped with the navigation. Yeah. You were gunner. On the radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we couldn't use the radar once we got more than uh, kilometers. Maybe thirty kilometers we had to turn it off. Oh yeah. Because the Germans could pick it up. Yeah. Yeah.